Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Wendy. Today I'm going to be continuing in the book that I was working on last week, which is started out as a junk journal and has kind of developed into a glue book because I'm just having so much fun with it. So what I want to do today is use um, as many florals as I can find in all my ephemera and do several pages if I can and with a spring theme or a spring flower theme because right now the lilacs are blooming, the um, tulips are just finishing, daffodils have just finished and everything's coming out and you know the birds are singing and all that. So I thought it would be fun to kind of just make that just a bit of a theme. I don't want it to like take over the book or anything but um, I love the florals and I love doing floral things and so Let's get started. All right, this is the book that I'm working in. And like I said um, before, it started out as a journal, and I've done several journal pages with pockets and whatnot in it. But I'm having so much fun with glue book, glue booking, gluing book. How do you say that? That I thought I would just start working on some pages and adding to as, you know, as I felt like it. So I'm going to try a few different things. I've got some some uh, spring sort of Easter stamps here and I want to maybe incorporate something like that plus I've got my pan pastels which uh, are in my previous video which you can find below and they're great for doing a background and let me just show you the page that I did before this one you can just see a little bit of the shading that I put on the paper which was started out as pretty much white so uh, I like that effect because then you don't have to try and fill every space, which is, you know, you can if you want to, but I decided I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to just um, try some different things like this. It's perfect like this. So in the end, the book will be um, kind of a, a lookbook, something pretty and sort of entertaining and I pulled out some things here that are spring flower florals like this one and the violets and I've got irises, um, a peony, they haven't come yet but they're they're on their way and then I've got a bunch of these little tags. Like I said I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done but I'm going to, I'm sure gonna try so I want to go back over here to the page that's opposite this card, if I can find it. Here we go. Because it's pretty flat, and if I'm going to do a rubber stamp, it needs to be nice and flat. So let's just start with that. And I think what I'll do is put it down like this so that I don't get any bumps in it. But I've got to work with, you know, basically three hands to make that happen. So I'll start with something here. I like the rabbit. And I like this hyacinth. So I think maybe I'll use both. And I'm using black ink just because it'll show up best on everything. So first of all, I'm just going to ink this. Sorry for the wiggly table, but it's an old drafting table. And it sometimes wiggles. Okay, so let's try this. So really what this is coming down to is more of a multimedia book because of all the different things that I put in it. And I haven't painted. Well, I can't even say that because I've dyed some of this paper. Like this is coffee dyed and this is watercolor dyed so you know it just goes to show you you can do anything that makes you happy that worked out very well now I'm going to wipe it off as best I can right now get as much of that off there as I can because it is permanent ink and I probably missed the uh, optimum window there but that's all right because it's a stamp it's supposed to be you know stamped ink inky so popping that back in its little case it's not really a case but 
And then, um, should I do the rabbit or the lamb? Lambs say Easter like nothing else. I, th I think I'll wait on it and maybe come back to that after I've put some other elements on here. Now, because the stamp has skipped just a couple of little spots, I'm using this Micron pen, which is a 005, and I'm just going to fill that in, those fine lines on that leaf, so it doesn't, you know, kind of shout, oops. There, that, that totally works, doesn't it? Okay, now let's turn it back up like this, like it's supposed to be, and just leave that there. Now, to go alongside this one, um, I'd like to sort of obliterate all this white, and I think I'll do it with this green because um, next to this pinky red, if I use this, that's kind of too purple. And this one, well, it goes a little bit better, but I, w I want some contrast, so that's what I'm going with here. And there is a bit of color on here, so whatever happens, happens, and I'm okay with that. It does, you can see the blue, the blue has just come through there. As I tried my blue, which is quite a dark blue, I really want to get some more of these so that I can practice doing some more things with them. But as it is, um, this is what I've got to work with, about six colors. I don't really want that on the next page, so let's lift that up. Where's my sheet here? It's handy parchment paper. It's a stand-in for all kinds of jobs. Not the least of which is gluing sticky stuff. And right now my husband's outside trimming the hedge while the leaves and the little twigs are still pretty fine. So if you hear a rattly sound or a little motor, that's that's probably what you're hearing. These things are pretty clean, but they do have a, a little bit of powderiness, so I'm going to blow that off. And then I've got the white, which basically just tones down the color. So I'm going to put some on here just to make it a little bit different. Now, what might happen is that all this is going to get covered up anyway. And I'm not really sure how far I'm going to go today, um, since I have a time limit. That looks really nice. I love it with the back background in green. And the thing about a glue book is that you get it, all these gorgeous pictures, and then, like, I don't want to cover them up. Oh, so, let's see. I think I'll go with purples along here. So I've got this, um, I don't even know what that plant is. Something with a bulb. It's got a couple of fuzzy edges here. Anyway, let's begin by gluing here. And I'm using this, this is basically just white glue. It was art glitter glue and then I kind of used that up and then I put something else in the bottle because it has this skinny nozzle. Um, and I, I just used a regular white glue that I thinned down. And it works just fine. The other glue I have I'll deal with in a minute. Okay, so let's do this corner first. So my idea with this kind of work is that you do it to please yourself and for others to look at if that's what you want and and just to have something beautiful or fun or whatever your theme is. I mean it could be Catwoman for all I know and you know that would be just fine. So if you can think of themes Frankly, you don't have to. You can just cut pictures out of magazines that you like and put them all together in whatever way you like. That's the fun part about this. Or you can do themes, like if you're fond of horses or dogs, or you know, you could do a whole glue book on cats and put in photos of your own cat or sayings or, you know, things like that. Now, I'm not going to use this glue because it's very stiff. I'm afraid it'll tear the paper. So I'm using this Elmer's all-purpose glue stick and I'm going to put it down and the reason I'm using a glue stick instead of the, the white glue is because all these little pieces are so tiny that um, it's hard to get this glue on it without it just squishing out all over. 
And this iris I cut out of a book of watercolor pictures of flowers. So it's not a photo, it's a watercolor. That looks nice right there. I think this will look nice right here. Again, this one came from a cookbook that was completely illustrated and boy what a find that was. So if you're looking for ephemera pieces, if you're not into magazines, like I get magazines, I love magazines, but I really don't want to cut them up because unless it's something that, you know, I read and toss, you know, magazines have become so expensive that I'm not going to cut them up because it cost me $17 for a nice decor magazine or whatever so even if it's the ads like I don't want to mutilate the magazine because it's a pretty thing on its own right so what I did to find a lot of ephemera was go to the used bookstores in the town near me and um, and just look in the craft section or the the flower arranging section that's a really good section or just to ask the people who work there if they or, you know know of any really nice illustrated books so there's a page that's just really pretty using purples now I'm gonna see uh, if I have anything tiny in purples that would fill in some of these spaces so here's my tiny bits and keeping in the theme of spring flowers roses come out here in June sometimes as early as the end of May uh, depending how warm it is that's pretty but this year has been such a cold spring we're still waiting for spring basically everything's growing like it, it responds to the light the daylight hours of daylight and that sort of thing but it's cold out last night well this morning I got up to snow halfway down the mountains that surround us we're actually surrounded on three sides by mountains and I can just look out the window and see how much precipitation there was and how cold it was because it rained like crazy last night and then of course when it's cold it the, the higher up you go on the mountainside the colder it gets and so it was snow halfway up the mountain snow it's May come on and then my sister lives in Quebec and they've got like 30 Celsius down there I'm like well how come you get summer and we still have quasi winter I'm not liking this concept at all well we have went on vacation to the Oregon coast a couple of weeks ago we'd been home about a week and it was cold there too like chilly really cold I should have taken my winter jacket because it was cold and rainy the whole time Wow, there's lots of really nice stuff in here I like that one all right, I'm going to put this over here and see what else works on this page, if anything. I might not even put anything on it just because it's pretty nice as it is. I don't think I want that on there. That works right there. You know, I, can't, I kind of can't help myself from doing design because I'm a designer and an artist and, you know, I want things to work together I like that. All right, I think we've got a plan here. Now the question about the teapot is, should I cut off the outside? And I don't think I will. So let's put these birds over here. Maybe they'll go there, I don't know. I don't know. I like being able to just find out as we go along. This is a little rose made with sealing wax, which is actually plastic. I got a set for um, Mother's Day, I think, last year from my daughter. And we'll put this little group of pots in here. Maybe should have used the glue stick just so that it goes all around, but we'll see. This will probably work. Yeah, see this is what happens. It comes out the edges like that. 
which is okay as long as it sticks the edges down, but then you get that mucky stuff around the edges and it, it'll dry. I mean, it's not a big deal, but all right, I think I'm going to leave that page like that. And then on this other page, go with some different colors. I don't know about those swallows, but this looks nice. And I'm not sure about that, um, that lamb. That doesn't look good. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to, first of all, cut this white stuff out of here so that the red shows through between the leaves. And then just put it down and leave it because this is still sort of half, half and half junk journal. So we had big news in our family um, recently. My daughter just found out that she's expecting another baby, which is very exciting. It will be baby number three and grandchild number three, and that's probably all we'll get, which is just fine because we love them so much. Um, but when she called to let us know, she, my uh, granddaughter wanted to talk, she said. Grandma, guess what? We're going to get a baby. It's just so sweet. The kids are so excited. Well, we're all really excited. There's nothing sweeter than a new baby. A new little child in the family. Okay, this is going to go right along here. And then I'm going to just think about what else it might need. The lamb is not going to occur here. Oh, look at this. I didn't put it down very straight. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And there goes my neighbor with the car that has no muffler. It's going on for months. Anyway, I'm not going to complain because complaining doesn't help anything and it just says I'm helpless. Well, in this case, I am a little helpless to do anything about that noisy muffler but there's no point dwelling on it because you can't do anything anyway. So um, there, see how quick and easy that was? That was really fun and I don't know what I'll put in here. I've got this, here's a little lamb. This is from Susan Branch and he's, yeah, he's pretty cute. So like I said, we're we're having this chilly springtime and um, but my husband's going away in a couple of weeks and I said, we like we get up in the morning and we'll still put the furnace on. It's that chilly. But I said, before you leave, you have to put the air conditioner in because we just has, we have a small house. So we've got a, one of those window ones, which really does the job admirably. But I said, it can go from 10 Celsius to 30 in like in a day. And when it gets really hot, then it gets hot in the house. And then, of course, my computer doesn't work. There, there's that cute little guy. Oh, I think I like him down there. Yeah, I'll put him down at the bottom. That way, if, if I decide to turn this into an all journal, or if, if I decide or someone else at some point decides that this is a journal worth having, which I'm sure it is, but, and you want to have, to use it as a journal, then you can. There we go. Okay. How about we move on and do an, one more page because I like that idea. I don't think I'll do that one, but maybe this one because it comes, it has, uh, this actually has a magazine page on it and then it's got pockets and butterflies and whatnot over here. So if I do roses as a theme here, uh, I think I'll use this color as a backdrop because of that color there. I think that's an old rose or a peony or something. And also the nice thing about these powdery chalks is that they go in the the lumps that are left by the paper, um, which is warped because it's got glue on the other side. I think this is nice and it, it, this has maybe a little bit of sparkle in it. If you're like me, you are pretty keen on sparkle. I love sparkly things. 
there that just gives a bit of dimension to it I guess you could say I left it I let it like sort of right over the top of those ripples okay uh, now let's find roses shall we I pulled out these other things that's pretty cute here's a rose but the colors like way off where is that other one I think that's a peony so let me see what I've got in my collection here No, I don't want them just like randomly splashed around here. So I'm going to start with putting this one down. And then I've got a whole little stack of sayings here. I'm just going to pop it in that corner and then find something to say about it. Life is a journey and only you hold the map. Oh, here's one. Follow your sparkle. That pink doesn't work. So these ones do. Like that one. If you're going to rise, you might as well shine. I like that. If you can dream it, you can do it. The trick is believing it in between. Now, um, you know what I want to do is, how can I do this? I want to put some sparkle on this. So, oh, what's a good way to do that? I'm going to use a little glue stick. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's put this little guy down. How fun is this? A glue book with glitter. I love it. Okay. I wouldn't have thought so, but that looks surprisingly good because of the contrast. So let's let's put that one in there. And these are the words of Jesus. In this world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That verse mystified me for the longest time. It's like, okay, you're telling us that we're going to have trouble, but to cheer up. And then finally I kind of got it. It's like... You can be in the world, doing what the world does, thinking what the world thinks, or you can be in Jesus and live a completely different kind of life, which is my favorite. Let's see, I want to put, I'm going to be careful with this glitter on here because I don't want it everywhere, but I can put it back in the container afterwards. So, but I'm going to use the glue stick on this because it's got so many little points. That looks good. I love these apple blossoms. No, no, I don't want that. That doesn't look good. But the lily isn't bad. Let's do the lily. This reminds me I bought some freesia bulbs the other day. Better get them in the ground before it's too late. All right, I think we need some little thing in here, and I've got a little thing right here, which will do just nicely. Just fits. So let's 
pop that in there. Well, I'm pretty happy with this. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you can get the notifications when I have new videos. And also click the like button because that actually helps me. And I'd love it if you'd leave a comment. If you're enjoying this kind of kind of process, if you like glue books, would you prefer glue books or, or mixed media kind of things, or let me know what you like and uh, I'll see what I can do. And I'll see you next time.